So in this video, I wanted to help you determine whether or not you're looking at a positive or a negative feedback loop and what are those determining factors between the two. So to make things really simple, let's start out by explaining negative feedback. So negative feedback, uh, you should know by now, is whenever the body is trying to return a variable back to its homeostatic position. So that can take a couple different forms. If you're clearly going back towards set point, that is negative feedback. So let's put that down there. So traveling back to set point. But what most people overlook is the other factor that's involved. So if you have factors involved that are trying to drive you back towards set point, then negative feedback is still active. But is it working? We don't know until you actually get back to your homeostatic set point. So something else that can tell you that negative feedback is occurring is if you have factors that are trying to drive it that way. So let's put down driving factors. So that is how you distinguish negative feedback. Now let's talk about positive feedback. So positive feedback, how do we know if it's positive feedback? So positive feedback is pretty simple. It's whenever you're traveling away from set point and continuing to travel away from set point. So a really easy way to distinguish if this is positive feedback or negative feedback is to find out if your variable shows any signs of going back towards set point at all, if there's any driving factors or anything like that. So if there's not any driving factors in play, then it is a positive feedback. So now let's look at this graph over here where we have heart rate over blood loss. So your job is to determine whether or not this is a negative feedback or a positive feedback. So take a second, pause the video, and try to figure out on your own if it is negative or positive feedback. So hopefully you figured it out by now, but let's go through it together. So over here on the left we have heart rate and heart rate looks like it's steadily going up as blood loss is steadily going up. So that tells us that this person probably has a wound that's bleeding out and that's why you have blood loss uh, increasing and the reason why their heart rate is increasing is because of that blood loss. That blood loss is causing a decline in their blood pressure, and if you have a major decline in your blood pressure, that's no good for your body. You can easily die from that. So the heart rate is kicking up so that blood pressure can reestablish. Um, so we see a, a sign or a driving factor of negative feedback right there with the heart rate going up as blood is being lost. At this point, however, we can't tell if negative feedback is actually working because this graph really isn't finished. It's, it's, not going, it's not showing that it's going back towards set point, and it's not showing that the person is dead either. So really, all we can say at this point is that negative feedback is active and that positive feedback hasn't happened yet. So really, negative feedback is happening. But is it working? We don't know yet. 